Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna with Hasna's Natmi and today I'll be discussing a very important clinical of your aorta. Major vessel of your body, I have already uploaded a video on uh, the anatomy of the aorta. You should definitely go check that out. First you understand the aorta, then we move forward in the aorta and today we're going to be studying a very important clinical related to the aorta. So guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I am waiting for you to click that post notification button on, like and comment and let's get started. So at times what happens in the aorta is either it can get dilated or it can get narrowed. When we talk about the dilation of the aorta, it is known as aortic aneurysm. And what happens when you have aortic aneurysms, the symptoms that a patient will present with are the symptoms of mediastinal syndrome because the aorta is going to dilate, which is going to be present in the mediastinum. And inside the mediastinum, you have all these structures. If they get obstructed, they will cause the mediastinal syndrome, such as hoarseness of the voice, the dysphagia, dyspnea, intercostal neuralgia, etc. Now let's move the page a little bit and talk about the coarctation of aorta, which is also known as the narrowing of this vessel. So basically, I want you to remember the concept of collateral circulation. If something is not working, if a path is not working for me, I will probably take another way out to get to my destination. I wouldn't waste my time on waiting for that traffic to move out of my way, right? I will definitely go take a longer way, no problem, but at least I'll get to my destination on time. Now I want you to focus on the aorta. We all know that there was a arch of aorta, makes sense? And then we had a descending thoracic aorta. We also know that the descending thoracic aorta was responsible for giving the posterior intercostal arteries. The posterior intercostal arteries are basically going to run in the posterior part of the ribs. Basically intercostal arteries are what run between each rib and between the rib that space is known as intercostal space, all right? So these intercostal arteries are actually going to be running on the lower border of the ribs, basically in that intercostal space. And there are like many of them, but we're going to focus on one right now. All right. So we all know that one space, the posterior intercostal artery is coming from the descending thoracic aorta. And then in the same space, an anterior intercostal artery is coming to obviously if there's a posterior, there has to be an anterior, honey. So the anterior intercostal artery is also coming. We know that the posterior intercostal artery is a branch of descending thoracic aorta. And the anterior intercostal artery is a branch of the subclavian artery. The subclavian artery basically gives the internal thoracic artery, which gives the anterior intercostal artery. But what's the most important point over here is that the arch of aorta is going to be responsible for giving that subclavian artery. I hope you can remember we've talked about the branches of the arch of aorta. So what happens is the anterior intercostal artery and the posterior intercostal artery, they both come and inside within this rib area, they both anastomose with each other. All right. So they have this amazing perfect life going on for them they're living the dream they're following their daily routine on a day-to-day -day basis they're anastomosing with each other they're working hard pumping blood to the entire body it's not an easy task trust me so what happens one day the descending thoracic aorta out of the blue mostly it happens congenitally like you're born with it the aorta undergoes narrowing right about over here all right when this narrowing takes place what do you think is going to happen blood that is coming from the arch of aorta towards the descending thoracic aorta goes like there's too much traffic over here even if there's no traffic the road is too tiny for me to pass so it's going to do exactly what i told you in the beginning of the video it will definitely go for a pathway that is an alternate or collateral to get to where it's supposed to go all right so what happens here is that obviously the blood has to go into the descending thoracic aorta further down towards the entire body right so what it does is since this area is not working, it will choose a collateral pathway. And what collateral can you see over here? The only collateral that I'm sure you can see is the arch of aorta pathway. It goes back into the arch of aorta, into the subclavian vessel, goes into the internal thoracic artery, enters your anterior intercostal artery, and once it enters the anterior intercostal artery, it enters the posterior intercostal artery, which is a branch of the descending thoracic aorta, and finally, it has bypassed this narrowness. Now, the blood can flow to the body naturally. The important point is related to the symptoms that are it's going to cause. Because of this whole alternate pathway, two things are going to happen. The first thing is that's going to happen, a patient presenting to me with coarctation of aorta that I can find, what are the clinical findings that I will see for that person is that I will check his femoral pulse, which is his leg pulse. It will be weakened. Pulse is weakening. 
is a sign that the aorta is narrowed and if anything is happening with the aorta where the aorta is not functioning properly obviously your pulses will be weakened so your femoral pulse is going to weaken most prominently that is because the aorta has a direct connection with the femoral artery like immediately after the aorta an external ilia comes and then your femoral artery begins the second thing that's going to happen is notching on the ribs how now guys i want you to imagine aorta is a big vessel it's living its life all right but then there are tiny vessels let's talk about a pipe if you turn on water in a pipe the water will flow through the pipe and the pipe will function as it does but what i want you to do is increase the pressure of the water flowing in the pipe turn on the water supply what is going to happen if you put it in your head probably the pipe is going to become zigzag all of a sudden right if you're directing the flow of the blood in the aorta into these tiny vessels especially these intercostal arteries now all of a sudden all the pressure of the blood flow is on these tiny arteries these are still a little larger these arteries are tiny if you're going to increase the amount of blood in these artery because of this collateral pathway what's going to happen they are also going to become come zigzag when that happens and they are coming in contact with the ribs because they're lying in the intercostal spaces because they're lying in the ribs and they're pulsating 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 so over time in a person like this if you're going to let's suppose uh the wall this wall that i have behind me if i keep knocking it on a daily basis knocking or like putting pressure over it after a few days its paint is going to come off right so similarly in the ribs the ribs will start eroding this is called notching of the ribs and you can see this sign on an x-ray there will be characteristic notching on the ribs and that is caused by the intercostal arteries that are undergoing a lot of pressure of blood all right so under pressure they are kind of messing up that's what happens to everyone in exams right that is known as the notching of the ribs so overall coarctation of aorta is a narrowing of the aorta which results in the collateral circulation to occur in the intercostal arteries and since intercostal arteries are going to have more blood flowing into them with more pressure what's going to happen is number one the clinical finding you'll see on an x-ray that the ribs will undergo will be eroded or notching will be occurring on the ribs the second thing that's going to happen is weak femoral pulse so i really hope you understood the concept do not forget to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you in the next video until then thank you so much for watching